How's a gal supposed to keep a boy interested if y'all keep scaring him away? Sorry, mon frere, but Gamba see no future for you in the cards. Gene, go to the control room and turn this program off. On my way. Guess the ride's over. Not for you, it ain't. Enough! What do you want here? I came to see you, Professor Charles Xavier. So that's it. I'm mutating. Into what? I don't know. Can you cure me? I'm sorry, Spider-Man. My work is not to cure mutants. I've built this complex, this school, to train them. I help them accept who and what they are. Accept it? But I don't want to be a freak! Watch your mouth, pal. Being a mutant's a gift. Well, what if this gift turns me into some kind of eight-legged monster? I wish I had an answer for you. I am sorry for your pain. Don't worry about my pain. Worry about yours if I mutate into a dangerous creature. And you have to stop me. It's always the same. I can save the world ten times over. But when I need help, I'm on my own. Thanks. For nothing. Spider-Man, don't go! He could be a big help to us. Forget it, he's too much of a loner. I don't know that I agree, Wolverine. I found him somewhat reminiscent of you when you crossed our doorstep. Good riddance. No man is an island complete unto himself. John Dunn. Look, he ain't even a real mutant. He said it himself. It was an accident. Then perhaps he has a right to seek a cure. There's a man at the Brand Corporation who has been researching mutant genetics. Maybe he can help. Come on, Beast. This ain't like you. And what makes you think you know me so completely? What was that about?